and welcome back to the Faculty Multimedia Center's Training and Resources. If you've been following along, in the previous video, we reviewed how to create a new Premiere Pro project file and how to import media assets. In this video, part two, we're going to review how to generate captions, revise those captions, and download SRT files. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to add our media into our timeline. So if you just come on over here to the bottom left in your project panel, you select the clip that you want to caption, you're going to click it, and you're going to drag it on over here to where it says drop media to create a new sequence. This is dropping media into your timeline. The timeline is basically where you would make any edits or revisions if you wanted to do so. But for this video, we're only going to review how to caption this single clip. Now you'll notice up here at the top left of the screen, since we selected auto transcription in our import settings from the previous video, Premiere Pro has already done all of our transcribing for us. Now that the transcription is already made, it's your job to watch the entire video from beginning to end to ensure accuracy. Although modern technology and AI software does a pretty decent job transcribing our video and audio content, there may be some misinterpretations or errors if there was any poor audio quality, enunciations, accents, stutters, and so on. So watch your entire video from beginning to end and check and see if you need to make any revisions. So to make revisions to the transcription, all you have to do is come on up here into your text window, into your transcript panel, and double click wherever you need the adjustment or the revision to be made. Now you'll see whenever I double click on it, it'll automatically select that word. I can remove it if I need to, I can add anything that I need, change the spelling, and so on. So if I wanted to, let's say in the video I actually said hello in the beginning and it didn't catch that, all I have to do is type in hello, hit enter, oop, actually you don't have to hit enter, you could just click out, and now it should be all set and good to go. You'll also see here, as you select a word within your transcription, Premiere will automatically move your playhead, which is this blue line here, um, to that exact moment, to that exact point. So this is at 1 minute 33 seconds. This is at 11 seconds, and so on. So it really makes the process of making any revisions that you may need pretty simple and efficient. Now once those revisions are made within your transcription, now it's time to actually make captions and subtitles. If you navigate back up here to that transcription window, you'll notice next to the word transcript is the word captions. When you select captions, you'll have the option inside this window to create captions from transcripts. Now remember, the longer your video is, the longer it's going to take to generate those captions. So just let it be until it's ready to go. Once your captions are generated, if you come down here to your timeline where you clicked and dragged your video content into earlier, you'll see that it has all these yellow markings at the top. These yellow markings represent all of the different captions that'll play throughout your video in your on screen, which you can see up here in your program monitor as a preview. Now, although these captions are made, you do still have the opportunity to make any revisions that you may need. If you come back up here to the captions window, you can just double click and make any adjustments that you might want, and you'll notice it automatically updates it here in your preview window as well. Now that those captions are generated, it's time to download an SRT file. If you come up, up here into that captions window and you select these three dots on the top right corner, you'll see you have the option to export, export to TXT file, export to CSV file, or export to SRT file. In this case, we're going to export to an SRT file and we're going to save it the same way you would save any other file that you're downloading to your computer or personal hard drive. And make sure you save it in a known location. Once you download that SRT file, you're good to go in the captioning process. In these past two videos, we reviewed how to create a new project, import your assets, create transcriptions, revise them, and generate an SRT file. At this point, you have everything you need to know to independently caption all of your other pre-existing content using Adobe Premiere Pro. However, if you are interested in learning more about burning new subtitles into newly exported video content using these original assets, please continue on to part three of this series. I'll see you there.